A driver's license can give many teens more freedom to do the things they want, including driving to the movies or meeting up with friends. Also, it helps you get away from your mother sometimes. <laughs> But it can be a challenge for those with high-functioning autism, including Riley Cole. Because their condition uh, can interfere with uh, paying attention to two things at one time, with coordination, uh, controlling the foot and the hands to control the gas and the, the brake pedal and the steering wheel. Researchers at UVA were awarded a $100,000 grant from the U.S. Department of Defense to study how virtual simulators can train and evaluate teenagers with high-functioning autism and Asperger's. Riley is among 12 student drivers in the study with a learner's permit and who have autism. For about an hour and a half twice a week, he maneuvers through this virtual driving course. Riley's mom says he has difficulty multitasking. So if he's paying attention to stop signs, then he might um, drift into the wrong lane if he's on 29. Or if he's paying attention to the line, he, lines and staying in line, he might forget the stop sign and run through it. So what we're trying to do is to give them a safe place to build up those skills. Uh, in a virtual world. Each session is broken down into certain driving skills. When we're able to break it down into the key elements of driving step by step, it allows us to gradually build upon those multitasking skills. Before Riley goes to get a driver's license, his mom wants to make sure he's acquired all the skills necessary to be a safe driver. And he understands that and agrees with it.